a video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can add a vector mask to a video. Now I've just got this uh, video added already to a timeline just brought in via file open command and what you can do just see you've got position opacity style. If you can't see timeline it's window and timeline. Now once you've got that I'm going to add a vector mask so quickly make sure we've got selected over there and a layer and vector mask reveal all so you want to do that and then straight away you'll notice some additional entries have appeared here and I'm just going to click there and now I've had a time keyframe so I've got a keyframe to the timeline that's great because now what you can do you can actually change it over time so of course the next thing to do is actually add a vector mask that's a very useful thing so just going to go over here to the custom shape tool and got, got a whole range of shapes here. You know, these ones are Chevron designs, these are graphic extra designs. I'm going to select one, very basic one, just going to select that one and make sense path. So you've got a couple of options. Path is the one you want to use. Make sense select it over there, yep, select it over there and just add that there. Now, what you can do then, and you can actually just quickly see through the video and see it moving there. But what I've got, I've actually selected mask position, so I can move the position. Unfortunately, you can't transform. There's no vector mask transform. It'd be lovely if that was there. Rotation, etc. Uh, that doesn't seem to work. So what you've got is position. That's the key thing. Now, what you can then do, and I'm just going to quickly go to the middle and then use, I'm not going to use that one, this is what I want, is the path selection tool. That's the key thing, path selection tool there. Now it might be in a different position because obviously now you can customise the toolbar, you might have to position there. But what you can do then, you can just move that. I'm just going to move it there. And you'll see it's been added, the keyframe has been added then. And again, so when you, go, you can see it go back, so it just moves across. And now I'm going to put it at the end position. I'm just going to move it over there. Just that point. Now, like I say, it would be dramatic if you could do a sort of have a rotate and transform scale picture, but it's all the same size. If you actually do resize it or tra transform it, it doesn't make any difference. Basically, what happens is that it just uses that all the way through. So it's not, no, it's just the position that's recorded. Right, that's it quick way and then once you've done that you've got render video so you can just quickly save it as an mp4 with this new image. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.